Sperm whale jizz, fucking gross. So, another movie to be released earlier is Venom 2. First, it was Adam's Family 2. Now, Venom 2 is released earlier. Because this was supposed to come out on October 15th of this, of this year. Now, they may move it earlier because, I don't know, sell more money, I guess? I, I don't get it. Especially, Double Sevens come out October 8th. I don't, think, I don't know if they're going to change that, or they're going to leave that alone, but who knows. For right now, we got, I had no choice but to do freaking Venom now. Let there be Carnage. And you know who's writing this movie, Carnage. It's Arch Nemesis, I guess. Which, in the comic books, is a lot different for, you know, Cleus Cassidy, his character. He was a lot more, you know, way better written character. Here, it's just that... Got this peanut head looking motherfucker, uh, Woody Harrelson, to play the character. I don't get why they keep getting this guy. The, like, every movie's gonna be Woody Harrelson. I get he looks like a freaking moon. He looks like a, a nutcase, but can he find someone that actually, you know, fits the role better than him? Because he's not really much intimidating if you, if you think about it. Especially to put freaking hair on his head. Even though in real life he has no goddamn hair on his head, he's bald. Give him just his weird ass hair cut on his head. Like what the, like, what the hell? I mean, I could actually get like a real hillbilly in this movie. And not, like I said, Woody Harrelson. For crying out loud. He, you know what, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not his fault. Maybe it's just the writer's fault. Because you know how to write a goddamn movie. Especially the director, Andy Serkis. Now, Andy Serkis, I like him as an actor. But I don't think he's that good as a director. Instead, this time... Well, to be honest, I never watched the first movie when it came out. I never watched it because I saw everyone's reviews. Everyone said it sucked ass. And I was like, I mean, I should not watch this. So I decided to watch the second one instead. And this is like is even more stupider than I thought. And I'm a big fan of Venom. You know, that's the character, the comic book character. He's like one of my favorite villains of all time. Somehow they, somehow they screwed it up somehow. And I also like Carnage. Carnage is pretty cool too. Cletus Cassidy, I like him too. Somehow they screwed that up too. They actually blew these characters up into oblivion. Like, come on, man. Like, it's Venom. How do you screw up Venom so bad? I like Tom Hardy as Venom, but his character is such a fucking like a scaredy cat at times. Like he's like he, he's always scared of everything. He's like, whoa, whoa, what is that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like he's like always like afraid. Like I, I don't get that. Isn't isn't Tom Hardy's character Eddie Brock supposed to be like a tough guy or something like that? Not like he's like scared of everything. Because I remember that in the, in the comics and like a couple of video games. I remember Eddie Brock was like always like a tough guy. I mean, they, they got the right actor to play him, Tom Hardy, because he, he is a tough guy, Tom Hardy. But somehow they really rose care like a freaking uh, a wuss. Being like always scared of everything. I'm like, what the hell? I get I get the first time with, with Venom. I understand he's scared because he, something's talking to him and shit. I can understand, but like that's just starting to get old after a while, you know? It's just starting to get freaking old. So now in this movie, now freaking Venom's battling Carnage like he did in the comics, but then in this movie, it's nothing like the comics. E even the jokes suck ass. The jokes, like, can he actually write good jokes in these freaking movies? Like, I understand that Venom and uh, Carnage and stuff make a lot of jokes in the, in the, in the comic book. It's like what Spider-Man does. But you gotta write it well with the jokes. 
you can't just throw it in there that it's gonna be a, a masterpiece of a joke no it's not like that works like every time we're freaking betting, I always say some some goofy shit all the time. I mean, it's fine because that's how betting was. You always say a lot of goofy stuff. But in this movie, is like the things he says, is stupid as hell. And this time, like I said, so the writers are see the screenplay by Kelly Marshall, the same chick that wrote the the first movie I read. It was three it was three writers, and now the story is by Tom Hardy. So Tom Hardy did a story and the lady wrote the screenplay. Okay, Tom, I don't know what you're doing here, but I don't think he knows how, how it works with Venom. Because us, you know, us, you know, Spider-Man fans, we know a lot about Venom and stuff like that. Especially me. I, I, I grew up on Venom. Especially that PS1 Spider-Man game. It's P- PS1 Spider-Man game, he was, he was a pretty good, cool character. He was, he was voiced by Darren Norris, a uh, fairly odd parents in that video game. And Darren Norris is the best voice actor for Venom. Darren Norris. Yeah, I swear to God, he 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 voiced Venom in PS1 Spider-Man. He, he did a really good job at it. He was like the best one in voicing Venom. For some reason they never they never hired him again after that video game for some reason. His his voice fit perfectly for Venom. For some reason, no one hires him anymore. They hire some new guy or something. Like this new, I, I mean this, this this new voice is all right. I mean the new voice for Venom, he's not that bad. But the animation of Venom, the thing is like. What happened to that, that, uh, you know, that white, you know, that white, uh, what was it called, that white, uh, attire on him, you know, that white attire on his, on his front of his, uh, torso? What the hell happened to that? Like, like, he ended up putting, like, a big giant white thing on his torso. Like, they, they completely forgot about that? Venom always had it on him. That's the reason they'll put that on Venom for some reason. I, I don't get that, like... That, that's, that's what's part of Venom, that big giant white torso on, on the front of his, on his torso. I, I don't get it, like, they like we forgot about that or something. But the, I don't know, the, the whole fight scenes, it's, the, it's, it's not really that well written, the whole fight scenes. It's pretty, you know, meh. You know, it's not really that interesting. All, all they do is just scream at each other and shit and say like a bunch of goofy jokes. And freaking Tom Harvey is like always like I like a scaredy cat at times. He's like, whoa, 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 like, what the fuck? Freaking Venom, man. Uh, like, I do want to make a good Venom movie. Just do it right. Like, I don't get what's so hard to write a freaking Venom movie. And now this time, they also have another brand new character in this movie, and she is called the Shriek, and she's played by Naomi Harris. First off, I don't know who the fuck the Shriek is. And second, I don't know who the fuck Naomi Harris is. Who the fuck is this black bitch? I never heard of her before. I never heard of the Shriek. Who are these fucking characters? I mean, character and actor. Who the fuck are they? So she's supposed to be Cletus Cassidy's love interest. Carnage love interest. Why does every character need somebody to fuck? I, I don't understand that. That's, every character needs somebody, somebody to do, you know, blow their cock into somebody, shove their jizz in somebody's fucking pussy. Like, well, why do you carry I'd be like that all the time? Excuse me for my language, but it's just it's the same shit. Like, everything needs some kind of romance type of thing in these movies. How about you make this shit badass and cut all this fucking love shit in here? How about some ba ba, some real cool badass scenes? But these badass scenes are not even badass. They're bad or ass, and not too combined. Michelle Williams character is pretty pointless. Freaking, uh, this whole movie's pointless. Like, the whole Venom stuff's, like, pointless. Like I said, I'm a big fan of Venom. As he's, like, one of my favorite villains. Favorite Marvel villains of all time. But, the thing is, how can you write this without Spider-Man? Like, I understand there's some kind of post credit scene or something like that. Some, some shit going on with that about Spider-Man or something. But, fucking, like... I don't get what they're trying to do with this whole Venom having his own movie and stuff. What it, what it can't really do anything with Venom when it's having his own freaking movie because they don't know what the hell they're doing. Especially with freaking Andy Serkis here. This is what Andy Serkis says. He describes Brock and Venom's relationship as being in the odd couple stage in this film. Really? Odd couple? Look, buddy, this is, this is a... Marvel comic movie, okay? It's, this is not the Odd Couple show, alright? I don't wh- Why do you get Andy Serkis to direct this movie? He knows nothing about Spider-Man or, or Batum. He knows nothing about Marvel comics. Well, like, well, why the hell is he even doing this? 
He's just some guy just getting paid to just do this. He, I don't think he knows anything about comic books or anything like that. Unless I'm wrong about that. But, like I said, I like Andy Serkis also, but I don't think he's really that good of a director. Like, what, what other movies did he direct besides Venom? Like, that would be car- Carnage. I don't know. Like, maybe I'll give this movie another chance another time. Maybe I'll watch it for a second time. Maybe this time I'll, I'll try to enjoy it. But right now, it's just... It's not really a good movie. Like I said, I never watched the first one. I never watched the first one because a lot of people said it sucked. I was like, I mean, I should not watch this. Because a lot of people said it sucked balls. And I can see why, because the way it was, like, written and stuff in the first movie. The way how they did the action and stuff. Like, they didn't make it, like, badass or, you know... How they write the jokes and whatnot. Like they, they was like so confused how to write Venom. Like I said, he's he's missing the, the tattoo on his torso. You know the the white tattoo on his torso. Like well, where the hell was that at? Like that's not even on, on his uh, torso anymore because he went the comic books. He had that white tattooed torso. You know what I'm talking about. I forgot I forgot what he called it. They only had it on his torso uh, for some reason. They want to be like. I don't know. I don't know what it is. He's, he, he's just not Venom about that 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 tattoo on his torso, the white tattoo. Uh, it's like did they, I don't think they know what they're doing with, with this with this character because I I know how I know how he's supposed to be. I know how, I know how Carnage is supposed to be. They they really they really screw up Carnage too. Like like I said, I don't think it's Woody Harrelson's fault. It's just he just gave him the script to just play this character. It's not, I don't think it's really his fault. This, this movie is not really that good. I'm not saying it like really sucks, but it's just that it's like everything got to be like so like goofy and stuff. Like yeah, that's fine because the Marvel comics there is some like some goofy jokes thrown into it, but not like go over the top and stuff like that. Like those other Marvel films do it, like the, the Avengers Endgame and stuff. Which is different from this, because this is uh, a Sony movie. This ain't like Disney's uh, Marvel Comics and stuff like that. Even though Disney's using uh, Spider-Man uh, shitty Tom Holland for uh, for their movies. Borrowing from Sony. You know, Sony don't even want them to even use Spider-Man, because they're not doing a good job with Spider-Man in the first place. So, that's another thing with that. Like, this movie is just very pointless. Like, you can't do a, a Venom movie without Spider-Man, to be fair. You know? I don't know. I feel like I feel like the character of Woody Harrelson's Carnage should be, like, more of a hillbilly or something. Especially his name, Cletus Cassidy. He's not like a hillbilly. Like, he should he should be a freaking, like, a hillbilly or something. Some kind of... Like, because right here, so he's, just, he's a psychotic serial killer. That's it. Why, how about a psychotic hillbilly serial killer? Because Woody Harrelson like tossed like a freaking hillbilly. Some of them went went of that gimmick, and they also like they exaggerate the scenes like over the top, over the limit, exaggerate, and they go like, <laughs> like they go all crazy and shit. Like what? What the fuck is all that shit? Like come on now. Like Jesus Christ! Like freaking, uh, freaking, well, uh, Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock were having like an argument with Venom and shit, talking shit to each other. I'm like, come on now! Like, still, like, the way the Venom acts is like so like stupid. The way, the way, no, not not Venom. I mean Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock, like, what the frick? Like, Eddie Brock was more like a tough guy, you know, attitude and shit. He's like, he wasn't like acting like a, a goofball all the time, like this movie. In the comics, like, he's more of a, he's more of a, a tough dude. Yeah, he's got the right actor, but the, the way they wrote his character, he made like a, like a goof. He's like, he's like scared all the time. He's like, he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Like, he's like, like he's a dumbass. Like, whoa, whoa, I don't get that. Like, whoa, what were they trying to do with his character? Like, this whole movie's like a mess. I'm trying to figure out, like, what the hell were they trying to do here? I was like, my mind's like really confused. Like, what is this shit? It's like a big cluster of vomit all over, all over the walls. Like, a giant mess of vomit. Like, threw up. Like, someone like threw up all over, all over the walls and, like, they don't know how to just clean it all up. That's how, that's how bad this is. This is like a, a big mess. Ugh. Let there be carnage, my ass. Freaking annoying ass hillbilly, freaking Woody Harrelson, peanut head, Twinkie Man, mother. F- <sighs> Does 
Anyone ever notice that Venom talks like the Cookie Monster instead of Venom? He talks like the freaking Cookie Monster. <laughs> Cookies! Like, every time he talks, he talks like he's the fucking Cookie Monster more than the Venom. I'm like, am I watching Sesame Street or Venom? I was like, he talks like the goddamn Cookie Monster every time he talks. Like, is that the Cookie Monster or... like? Whoa. Is he hungry for some cookies, or I, I don't get what's going on in this movie. Oh, this is the voice. Of, even, uh, okay, now the voice of Venom seems kind of off too. Now he sounds like the goddamn Cookie Monster. <laughs> cookies. Oh God. Like what the hell are they doing, man? Let's, Tom Hardy's like, like, like I said, Tom Hardy's character is like. They really screw up Eddie Brock. Eddie Brock is not some some uh, goofball. Eddie Brock's not a goofball. He's actually a really serious character. He doesn't. He's not like some scared motherfucker. So I remember in the comments like he wasn't like scared all the time. He was. He actually coped with freaking Venom. He actually 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 acts freaking tough. Like like I said, I don't know what they want to doing here. They're probably gonna. They're probably gonna make a third one probably. Cause you know the first one made like eight hundred dollars and eight hundred not eight hundred dollars. Imagine they made eight hundred dollars and then made a sequel, eight hundred million dollars in the box office. Jesus Christ! People are that curious about Venom. It seems like, like I said, there's like big fans of Venom, so I see why it's like eight hundred million dollars in the box office. People want it it to be rated R, but again, they got PG thirteen. I don't really think it's a big I, big deal. But radar wouldn't make a difference either because it was still a pretty much suck ass anyways. It was rated R. Like I said, Eddie Brock's character is supposed to be a tough guy. But right here, one of these scenes, like we you know, with Michelle Williams' character, is uh, supposed to be his ex fiance in the movie, and they're seeing like she with this new guy. She's in a car with him. Freaking Eddie Brock comes by. He shakes hands with him. Venom's like no, and he, he slaps him. He uses Eddie Brock's hand and his arm to slap the dude in the face, and he just runs away saying sorry. The guy's like, well, we need to talk about marriage counseling. That was the stupidest shit I ever seen. Like, what the fuck does that have anything to do with... With all the stupid scenes in here, they should cut all the stupid shit out of this movie. All this filler bullshit needs to be cut out of this movie. Venom does not... I mean, both of them. Tom Hardy's Eddie Brock is not a freaking goofball. He is not some freaking, uh... Dude that's, like, scared all the time. Like, he's... Like, well... That's not, this is not Eddie Brock. This is not the Eddie Brock I know. He's not like this. He's not like this in the comics. Why they screw up his character so bad like that? They got the right actor, but the, the, the character screwed up. This is the freaking bad writing. They made him look like a freaking wuss and a freaking, like, a scared of everything. You know, he's always apologizing and shit. You know, that can weird and freaky. Like, Eddie Brock wasn't, wasn't like that. It's like, it's so dumb, man. That's like, it's not how Venom was supposed to be written. Especially how, especially Venom. He, he acts like a freaking goof, too. You know what? You know what? Actually, that's fine. Because that's how Venom supposed to be. He's supposed to make, like, silly jokes and stuff like that. But not, like, over-the-top stuff. It's time that Venom, that Venom should be, half time he should be making jokes, and other time he should be serious. But that, uh, this whole movie is like, Venom's like 100% like mostly goofy. Like, he should be 50-50 goofy and serious. Not like 100% goofy. Yeah, that's cool that J.K. Simmons, J. Jonah Jameson's in here because, you know, Tom Hardy's a photog photographer, he does journalist stuff. That's cool he's in here, but... Uh, this whole movie is just a goddamn cluster of garbage everywhere. Big cluster of garbage everywhere. A bunch of slobs. What the hell are they doing here? Especially freaking adding a different freaking character in here. That, that freaking shriek chick. Like, what the fuck is she even doing here? Freaking shouting and screaming and shit. Like, you bitch, shut the fuck up. Stop shouting. Fuck. It's like the same dumbass shit. These fucking characters. Shit, like, it's a lot of filler going on in this movie, even though it's like an hour, 30 goddamn minutes. It's a pretty short fucking movie, thank God. 
I forgot how, how long the first one was, but like I said, I never watched the first one, so. <sighs> I don't even know, I want to see a freaking Venom vs. Spider-Man movie, because they're, gonna, they're still going to screw up Tom Hardy's freaking character. Because like I said, they got the right guy to be the B Venom, it's just that, like I said, the, the writing for, for, for Eddie Brock, he, he made like a, a, a scaredy cat, and like a, a goof. He always act, act all freaking silly all the time. Instead, of acting like an alpha male tough guy. I guess I forgot because toxic masculinity is, is a bad thing. It's bad to be a masculinity guy in a movie, I guess. So let's make him a, a scaredy cat. And uh, again, like I said, they got they got the right actors. Uh, the writing for him for Eddie Brock is just bad. I don't know why Tom Hardy even tried to write him write the story. Uh, yeah. And next year, come out another Spider-Man movie. That's not, that's not with, with Spider-Man. It's called Mobius. I don't know who, who the fuck is Mobius. He's supposed to be another Spider-Man villain, and I never even heard of him my entire life. I never heard of Mobius. Maybe I saw him one time before. I just I just blanked out of my mind. I was like never forgot. I like forgot all about him. Right now, I know I don't know who Mobius is. It's, it's another movie without Spider-Man in it, and it's another Spider-Man villain. He's making a movie about him. It's played by the same guy who's who's played that shitty Joker, Jared Leto. And I'm not a big fan of Jared Leto's acting, or Joker, or anything else he does. I'm not a big fan of him. His acting is not so good. It's like this movie is not so good. That's happens when you get Andy Serkis to direct this movie. You think he actually knows how to do movies. You know, he didn't write it, it was Tom Hardy and this other chick who wrote the first movie. All these random ass characters in this fucking movie. Freaking, uh, freaking Tom Hardy go visit Woody Harrelson's bitch ass in, in jail, bitching and moaning about shit. So dumb, like all these random weak ass characters in here. Doing much dumb ass shit, shouting and shit. I can all over the top like a, like a freaking kids on freaking candy sugar rush. 